Hello, everyone, and welcome to the January 2023 Patch Report. I am Dustin Childs, your Information Security Gnome and Chief Patch Wrangler here at the Zero Day Initiative, coming to you on location from Orlando, Florida at the fabulous Rosen Center. Uh, we've got a lot to cover today, a really big release from Microsoft, really small release from Adobe. So let's just jump right into it. So looking at the Adobe releases, uh, we've got four patches addressing 29 CVEs in Reader, InDesign, InCopy, and Dimension. Obviously, the one you're going to focus on here is Reader, uh, but nothing's under active attack. So just deploy these with your standard uh, update speed. Uh, though I do want to point out the one for Dimension also has a new dependency that ships with it. Depend uh, sorry, Dimension has a dependency on SketchUp, which is hard to say when you're in Orlando, apparently. So there was an old version of SketchUp. The new version includes uh, a November 9th date stamp and eliminates a few bugs in SketchUp. So that gets in there too. Nothing, uh, nothing actively exploited here for Adobe. Nothing under active attack. Everything's priority three. So uh, just want to point out that uh, a whole bunch of these bugs came through the ZDI program. So nicely done, folks, especially Matt Powell, who reported a lot of them. Moving on to Microsoft, we have 98 CVEs across a bunch of products. And some of these are really, really interesting. And let's start with the one that's under active attack. And that's in ALPC. Uh, it's an elevation of privilege vulnerability, which means it's going to you have to already have code execution on the system to escalate and then run code at system. But considering this came in through an antivirus company, it probably is being paired with another type of code execution bug so that it is able to take over a whole system. And that's what we see very typically an RCE plus an LPE equals a, a bad day for whoever clicked on that file extension. The next is the SharePoint security feature bypass, and uh, the CVSS isn't that high, but it's rated critical. You don't see a lot of security feature bypasses rated critical. I think this one qualifies. It's a, it allows a remote, unauthenticated attacker to make an anonymous connection to a SharePoint system. Um, and that in itself is interesting, but the real thing here that I really want to point out is that you don't just apply the patch in this case. You need to take some extra steps as a sysadmin. You need to run extra commands that are noted in the bulletin uh, to make sure your system is fully addressed. So please read the bulletin. Please make sure you're running the extra uh, update that comes with the patch and that you're fully protecting your SharePoint servers. I'm telling you folks, one of the things that I see a lot of times, a lot of customers are running out of date SharePoint servers, drives me crazy. Uh, there are huge targets for systems. A lot of times they're connected to the internet. A lot of times they're connected to the internet when people don't realize that they are. Make sure you're patching your SharePoint servers, please. And speaking of things not getting patched, we have another update for Exchange. A couple updates here I wanted to point out uh, from my good friend Piotr. He uh, looked at Exchange and a couple months ago saw an Exchange patch come out and said that is not complete. So we filed a couple new bugs. This is, these are really the first two bugs to be patched under our new timeline for failed security patches. Uh, so you can find that on the link here. Uh, I'll try and put a link up here someplace for it too, um, wherever, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's one of those YouTube thingies. I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, so elevation of privilege, vulnerability, these are authenticated. So I say a local attacker is able to do this. Uh, but it's just kind of distressing to see something as critical as Exchange uh, still having incomplete patches. We also just had a report come out that about 70,000 uh, Exchange servers connected online, on-prem, are not patched. So please, folks, I know it's difficult to patch Exchange. Um, it's not easy. It's not fun. you got to do it. Otherwise, don't run Exchange on-prem. I mean, that's your choice. That's what you get. That's what that's there. So there you go. Uh, looking at everything else, we've got one that's publicly known, but it's not exploited. That's a workstation service elevation of privilege vulnerability. Uh, quite a few other uh, critical bugs here, 11 critical totals, including some of the cryptographic services, uh, which will allow uh, elevation of privilege or uh, code execution. I want to point out the 3D Builder uh, bugs here. There's like 14 of them from Matt Powell, so good on him. Uh, 98 bugs from Microsoft, 25 from ZDI. So we're cranking out the Microsoft bugs this month. Uh, so take a look at all of the bugs here. There are a couple ones, other ones that I do want to call out. 
Uh, the first is there are uh, still some bugs in these older tunneling protocols. So whether it be layer two or SSTP, make sure you're looking, make sure you understand what protocols you're actually using um, to go with it. Uh, looking at the other code execution bugs, not a lot that's really super interesting. Uh, I've already talked about that. Um, there's an RCE bug in Windows authentication, but the description is really confusing because it says an attacker must already have access and the ability to run code on the target system. Okay, so I don't get that either, but uh, hopefully they can clear that up. Uh, we have some SharePoint RCEs that again require authentication, but anyone with the default uh, SharePoint account has the permissions required to take, uh, okay, take advantage of those. Couple SQL related or SQL related, depending on what side of that fence you fall on, uh, nothing super exciting. There's about 38 EOP bugs this month. That's a lot. For the most part, you're escalating to uh, execute code as system. There is one uh, that I thought was kind of interesting, uh, and that's uh, an LSA bug that doesn't lead to system. It leads to the group managed service account. So whenever you're escalating privileges, make sure you know where you're escalating. Uh, I'll also note, hey, look, we're more print spooler patches, great. Uh, including one from the National Security Agency. I'm sure that's not relevant at all. Uh, by the way, as we continue on here, um, oh, Azure Service Fabric. I wanna make sure that we bring this up too, because again, this is one that you're manually gonna have to do. If you're running Azure Service Fabric, uh, and this is a very specific scenario. If you have a Service Fabric that's managed by Docker, you need to go in and manually apply the updates and then enable and configure this block access to wire server feature flag. Uh, so definitely read that bulletin carefully if you're running uh, Azure Service Fabric. Um, definitely make sure that you, you do that again. People who say just patch it don't know that no, you just can't just patch it. Sometimes you got to go in and do a little bit more. Uh, speaking of uh, government agencies reporting bugs, uh, Canada's uh, CSE, the Communication Security Establishment, um, they reported a, uh, a bug in Windows Cryptographic Secrets. So uh, definitely look into that. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I'm not really into crypto that much, but if you are, that's definitely uh, something that could be really curious. Uh, again, there's some uh, other security feature bypasses. <sighs> BitLocker, you have one job, uh, and, and that's to like prevent people from stealing data if they steal your laptop and, and well this bug doesn't doesn't let that happen same thing for uh the sfb and boot manager guys one thing okay so i know they do a little bit more than that okay. uh but anyway we got about 10 denial of service bugs not a whole lot of details from microsoft on this but uh yeah i mean nothing too interesting here there are a couple spoofing bugs in exchange although i kind of would call it a little bit differently just know that there's a lot of exchange bugs getting fixed this month and you really need to pay attention to them. So our next uh, Patch Tuesday is going to be February 14th. I will return, I will be on location in Miami Beach for Pwn to Own Miami for that. And we're gonna do something special on that Patch Tuesday as well. Instead of me recording and editing and whatever, we're gonna do it live. That's right, we're gonna have the patch report live from our hotel room uh, in Miami Beach and uh, that'll be your uh, chance to ask questions live on the air. Hopefully we get some good participation and uh, yeah. So until then, everyone, please take care, stay safe, and may all your reboots be smooth and clean.